You're listening to Trek FM. Hello and welcome to From There to Here, Trek FM's daily rewatch of Star Trek in which we look at all 729 episodes from beginning to end. I'm Mike. And I am happy that we're almost done. (laughs) (laughs) That makes two of us. Uh, And today we're going to be looking at two episodes of Voyager, Friendship One and Natural Law. So let's start with Friendship One. Do you want to give a synopsis of this one? Starfleet Command sends the USS Voyager on a special mission to retrieve a 21st century Earth probe, which is believed lost in the Delta Quadrant, and conveniently right there next to them. Yeah, yeah, it was convenient. But, you know, I mean, I guess these things do happen sooner or later. Um, I'm pretty sure this was the last episode written by... Uh, Brian Fuller. Who's that? And uh, uh, friendship. Who's Brian Fuller? Uh, he's this guy who. Uh, <laughs> it's not important anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. But he, yes, <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's the last episode uh, up until now. But um, yeah, he'll, he'll have more um, in the future, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, what what did you think about uh, friendship one? Lieutenant Carey's back. Yeah, he is, isn't he? I think they realized that he wasn't dead, and then they killed him. <laughs> you got to tie up all the loose ends, right? They're like they're like you know freaking uh, Michael Corleone, so that's cool. <laughs> I think that the friendship one is very similar to V'ger. It made me think of uh, Star Trek: The Motion Picture. I don't know why. Maybe I don't know. Did it make you think of that at all? Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Okay, um, I think it's an interesting idea. The fact that. The, the Federation would have this probe that they sent out a long time ago to try and get information, and it accidentally had this negative uh, this negative impact on the society, uh, which is completely not what they would have intended, right? But uh, mm-hmm. so for them to go in and have to basically fight for them and uh, uh, to fight to prove that they want to help them is kind of an interesting storyline. You know, I mean, like, it's 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 kind of hard to watch. I mean, I got kids watching that, you know, that baby die and then be brought back to life. It's, it's kind of a hard scene to, you know, because I'm very fortunate. My kids were very healthy when they were all born, right? Um, but we've got some friends and stuff that have had some serious medical problems with some of their children. And I have a, you know, I can't imagine having to go through something like that, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, they, they really do sort of deal with, you know, the horrors of, uh, you know, nuclear or whatever or whatever it is you know that kind of idea right that that contamination or whatever that's what it reminded me of you know was you know like nuclear fallout sort of thing um but yeah i i I thought it was a pretty solid episode on the whole you know it it has a a good message and you know it it does sort of like bring in the idea of the prime directive and and why it's important even if your intentions are are the best and, and all that stuff Um, but I think, I think that it it was pretty solid. There's, you know, it's, there's a few moments in there where I'm kind of like, ah, but on the whole, if, if you think about the overall themes at play and and everything like that, and the way that, that the episode plays out, I think that it, it works, uh, fairly well. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. I think it's interesting that they actually were contemplating doing this relocation of these people as well. And the fact that with how many back and forth they would have to do, it was going to take like three years to, to accomplish that. But it's something that they actually, you know, gave it a good strong thought and, you know, okay, figure this out. And how would we do it if we were supposed to do this? Right. Yeah. I mean, well, that's something which has sort of been ingrained in, in, in Voyager from the beginning, which is, you know, doing the right thing, you know, even if it is a major, major inconvenience for, for you personally, and especially in this case where, you know, they felt responsible, you know, as a species for, you know, the situation, I don't think that they would really hesitate in, in helping these people, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like it. I think it's a, I think it's a good season seven episode. Works for me. Yeah. Yeah. It is a good season seven episode. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's that's an interesting way to put it. But yes, I would agree. <laughs> I would agree that it is a good season seven episode. And yeah, the last <laughs> the last instance of of uh, you know Joe Manoski and uh, Brian Fuller uh, writing Star Trek ever, ever apparently. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. No. Uh, but for now, for for the the time being, um, so that's 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 really interesting. All right. Well, should we move on to our next episode? I think we should. All right. Natural law. Uh, this is the episode where Chakotay and Seven go down to a planet, and they they crash land, and there are some some people down there who are not as technologically advanced as uh, the humans. And uh, they uh, are are trapped in a sense, and they need to try to figure out a way to get a signal back to Voyager and 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 save themselves. Meanwhile, uh, on the other side of the planet, the people who are more technologically advanced are uh, chit chatting with Voyager and also um, forcing. Tom Paris to take some flying lessons for you know as as a result of his reckless behavior uh, with the Delta Flyer and uh, hijinks ensue and yeah uh, what did you think about natural law I think Tom Paris is a terrible flyer <laughs> yeah it's kind of a funny uh, plot line like a B plot you know it's kind of interesting where it's like. He, he he thinks he's gonna get off scot free. He's like, oh no! I, sometimes you can jump right to the test. I think I was like, what's the rush? So I don't know. I think it's kind of humorous that he has to jump through all these hoops. You know, it's weird because I, I was really having a hard time with that that plot at the beginning. Because at first I was like, oh, it's kind of sitcommy. You know, whatever. You know, we know how this is gonna go. And then you know, there's like. You know, they find out about Seven and Chakotay, and they're like, they've crashed on the planet. They may be dead. You know, like the, the, the aliens are like, sorry for your loss. And they're like, we don't, we're not sure that they're dead yet. But regardless, they're, you know, they could be, you know, and, and we need to go help them. And they kept on cutting back to, you know, the Delta Flyer thing. And I'm like, really? Are they going to even like acknowledge this? And then they do, you know, like Paris is like, uh, you know, I, can we speed this up because, like, I, you know, my friends need my help and I want to help them. And, you know, they just kind of still are playing it off for laughs. And I'm like, this is so weird. Like, at this point, I really feel like Janeway would be like, screw your test, come back to the ship because we need your help. But then it pays off at the end where he, he's out there and, and when Voyager is incapacitated, she sends the signal to Tom Paris and Tom Paris is like, hang on. And then he does his, you know, you know, his flying, his, his, his reckless fr- flying and saves the day. And when they did that, I was like, oh, okay, that was all worth it. You know, like that to me, like the episode was kind of like, te- like when it started, I was like, no, no, don't, no, 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 no. This is, I do not want to be watching this. This is terrible. But then when they started doing the whole thing with the, uh, you know, like um, the idea of the, you know, technologically advanced uh, race of, of planet inhabitants, you know, breaking through this barrier and stripping the the land or whatever everything you know like invading the 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 home turf of of the people who lived there you know then it started to really get into some interesting stuff which is obviously i think you know making you know uh some interesting social commentary on things like you know uh here in america you know the the idea of the government taking over the the land you know on you know native american reservations and stuff like that and you know that that's obviously some some interesting stuff to think about but then when they used the comic b plot as you know basically the the answer to resolving the a plot i was like a plus there, you know, for for effort at least, you know that 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 really works for me. I'm like I, you know, I stood up and applauded. That part was solid. What what, what did you think about the episode on the whole? Though? Um, it's it's one of those things where you're like, oh, they're doing this again. Crash landed coworkers landing and having to deal with this, you know, civilization that's not advanced. Like we've done this. I don't know how many episodes are there. Seven hundred twenty nine. I think we've done this plot line like six hundred twenty nine times. Yeah. You know, in the whole series. But uh, like you said, 
it doesn't end the way you think it's going to end. You think it's going to end when they're saved, but it doesn't. There's a whole other act after that because this this more advanced race wants to come in and start, oh, let's take this and we'll help them out and we'll make them better. And and it it does add a layer to the story that you're not expecting because you're expecting the cookie cutter episode that you've kind of seen up to this point. So um, it, it's odd. Like I want to like it. I, I, I want to like Chakotay, right? And I, I like that they tried with him, but they just didn't, it just didn't work a lot of the times, you know? So, well, you know, I mean, this, this, this episode, you know, it starts off and I'm thinking like, this is going to be a Chakotay episode, but it really more than anything is a seven episode. Mm -hmm. And, and I think that's one of the reasons why it, it works as well as it does. Do you think this was the uh, start of their relationship? They like, you know, went off to the bushes and played kissy. Uh, I don't think so because, you know, in, in the uh, finale they talk about, like, appropriate activities for, you know, date one, date two, et cetera, and that doesn't really seem like it. But I don't know. Maybe maybe they were trying to lay the groundwork here. I don't see it. I don't know, but whatever. <laughs> Anywho, that's what all I got to say on those ones here. All right. Well, uh, Brandon, where can people find you on the Internet? Uh, you can find me here on the network with new episodes of Melodic Treks, which is all about the music of Star Trek. And I've been on several recent episodes of Warp 5, which is our Enterprise podcast. And you can find me on Twitter at Brandon Metella. And every once in a while, I poke my head up in the Babel Conference. And I just had my first episode of the 602 Club, where we talked Rogue One. And where can people find you, Mike? Uh, you can find me uh, right here on Trek FM doing Stage 9, where we talk about the people who make Star Trek. And you can also find me on uh, the Nerd Party Network doing a show called Great Shot Kid, where we talk about the people who make Star Wars. And uh, you can also find me, uh, if, you, if you look uh, this, this week, uh, since uh, on Christmas Day, if you, if you take a look, or if you, uh, it, it should be up now... Um, you can go to commentarytrackstars.com and uh, find our annual Christmas commentary, uh, which is for Mad Max Fury Road. So check that out. And uh, yeah, we will be back tomorrow to talk about two more episodes of Voyager, the last two hour-long episodes of Voyager, Homestead and Renaissance Man. <laughs>